ladies and gentlemen, you know, this is Louisiana pasta, Tony Spell. And this man apparently knows who I am. Now, True Royal put out a video about him. And on Twitter, he addressed her and threw my name in it. Now, I didn't make any videos about this man calling him out. You know, I, I didn't do any. I, I wasn't even thinking about this dude. Now, I did do the one video on of him conducting church services and ignoring the stay at home policy. But that was about it. So he really, truly was not on my radar until now. So Pastor Tony Spell, uh, no, I'm going to call you Antony because that's what you've been acting like, Antony. So Antony here was ordered to obey the stay at home as bond condition, you know, because he tried to run over a protester, you know, more like an Antony than anything else. So this came out on WBRZ2ABC, mm -mm -mm. April 23rd, 2020. Police warned Pastor Antony this week that he'd find himself back in jail again. Jail? Mm -mm -mm. Gangster, ain't he? Gangster Antony. If he failed to heed the governor's stay at home order. Well, Antony knows about the stimulants. And, you know, when he found out his congregation was getting them stimulus checks with his millionaire self, he decided to seize the moment to grab up all them stimulus from the congregation. That's right, y'all. That's what Pasta was doing. And and wait, 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 wait. He tried to back up on a protester. Mm -mm -mm. And that's what got him in trouble with his vehicle. Back up on a protester. So, oh, Antony here must refrain from all criminal conduct, including strictly abiding by all emergency orders issued by the governor of the state of Louisiana. Spell was charged earlier this month after he fragrantly defied the state stay-at-home order by holding services at Life Tabernacle Church, where he proceeded to rob people of their stimulus. Never mind they got kids and light bills and they need money to get by. Never mind all of that. He needs your stimulus check. And he's a millionaire. Now you know how he became a millionaire. He was arrested Tuesday after he allegedly came just feet away from running over a protester while driving a church bus. Oh, Antony, Antony, Antony. Mm -mm -mm. Not the conduct of a pastor. <laughs> Central police say surveillance video caught the bus stopping partway down the church driveway and backing up back towards the entrance where a protester was standing on the shoulder of the road. The vehicle then backed onto the shoulder and slammed the brakes just feet away from the protester. That just seems like the conduct of a demon. But let's go on. Police later used witness video to confirm the incident. And that spell was the driver of the bus. Ooh, Antony, how could you do it, Antony? He was booked into the East Baton Rouge Parish Prison 
Tuesday and released shortly afterwards. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Anthony, if you were a few shades darker and had a fro, you wouldn't have gotten no bail. But let's go on. Another church member, Nathan Thomas, is accused of swerving his pickup truck off the road and nearly striking a protester as well, shortly before Sunday service. Hmm. How many people in your congregation got COVID-19? Did any of them die, Anthony? Mm hmm That's what I'm hearing. But let's go on. Police pulled Thomas over and questioned him about the incident as he was leaving the service. Video recorded by the victim appeared to confirm that Thomas's truck came within about a foot of striking the protester, according to police. A warrant was also filed for his arrest Monday. Mm -mm -mm. So the two of you tried to use a vehicle as a weapon against a protester, huh? Not good, Anthony. Not good. Last week, a local attorney representing Spell was hospitalized with coronavirus. Wow. Your attorney got it? Did you meet with this man face-to-face? Uh, -face? Oh, you, you seem like you got a lot to worry about, Antony, than worry about somebody like me. One of Life Tabernacle church members also died from COVID-19 that same week. Mm -mm -mm. You know, if you really love and care about your members, you would not have them gather like that, Antony, and then you would not have them gather in order to rob them of their stimulus money because, you know, you are a millionaire. You shouldn't need anybody's stimulus money right now. And look like you got bigger fish to fry than to worry about me too. You know, you, um, you know, and, and don't, don't worry, Anthony. And my question is, are you teaching your congregation the truth about who the real children of Israel are? Are you doing that, Anthony? I bet you you're not. You're probably still in that church showing false idols and praying to that false idol too in your congregation. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not worried about you, Antony, you know. One day the truth is going to come out. And everything people like you have will go to the children of Israel one day. One day. But, oh, Antony, you take care of your little legal problems. And you really need to stop worrying about a stimulus check that don't have your name on it. Let your people have their money in peace. But then again, if they're crazy enough to continue to walk in those churches, ah, Anthony, go ahead and take that money. <laughs> I changed my mind. You know, at the end of the day, <laughs> it really don't matter. But you may need a new lawyer from the way this looks. Uh -uh -uh. It is just amazing, y'all. Just amazing. But y'all, please tell me what you think about Antony here. I guess calling himself, trying to call me out on Twitter. Mm -mm -mm. 
please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. You know, Anthony, you may think about, you know, getting into another profession, being a pastor these days, it's kind of tough doing that, you know, keeping up all the fakery and all that stuff. And, you know, and, 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 you know, there's a second, there may be more stimulus coming out. So, you know, it's going to be more money for this man to be groveling for over the next coming months. But y'all, please tell me what you think. So he's out of jail under the condition that he abides by the stay at home rule. Do y'all think he going to do it? Or can we just tell this pastor he's a liar? Peace, family.